So I'm going to demonstrate Instamorph today, and Teresa Wilcom perfected this. She's got a ton of uh, YouTube videos. She is the MacGyver of, of assistive technology. Uh, anyway, what I want to show you with the Instamorph is I have several students in geometry. Uh, this is uh, very hot water. I'm going to dump the Instamorph into the very hot water. And I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to stir it until it becomes clear. And uh, what I'm going to do is take it and create shapes with it. Uh, because with our Braille books, the diagrams are flat. And a lot of times our blind students do not understand uh, what the shape is supposed to be. So with the Instamorph, you can create the different shapes that you need to. I'm going to go ahead and do a cube as soon as it turns clear. And as you can see, it is clear. So now I'm going to take it. You don't want too hot a water or you'll burn yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and start to mold it. There's a perfect circle right there. So if you wanted to show them what a circle is and you can just hand it off to the student. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make a cube. I'm going to flatten out the sides and the top. And what's nice about this is as long as it's warm, you can keep molding it into different shapes. So there's a, a, a cube, okay? And you can just uh, re, and that's probably the biggest pro right there, is you can keep molding the different shapes as the student feels the object. So there's my cube, so now I've done a cube and a circle. Let's say they need a triangle, and if I need to warm it up a little bit, I just pop it right back in the water, warm it up a little bit, so it gives me a little bit more malleability. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a triangle. So this is constantly malleable while it's warm. And you can go ahead and make any type of shape that you uh, need to. So create a point. And then what's nice is you hand this to the blind student. And they need to go ahead and create the shape also uh, to check for their understanding. So there's a triangle, give them the idea of their three points. Now, if you want to keep this as a particular shape and you can harden it up by placing it in the cold water and then it becomes hard. But if you wanna keep molding it, which is ideal, once again, I'm just doing this for geometry class, I am just going to keep putting it back in the hot water. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to keep uh, reshaping it and hand it to the blind student so they can feel what it is. Uh, and, um, and then I'm going to hand it to them and then they're going to do the same thing. Put it in the hot water, uh, shape it into the shape that is required, that is flat service on an embossed book so they understand what they're doing. So that's a really nice way to create three-dimensional objects really quickly.